A very good afternoon to you. This is the Tech Guru, um, where we look at all things technical on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Now TV box. Now we've already got one of these in the family, but what we've got today is uh, a new one because we want sort of something the children can watch their sort of programs on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of talk a little about what's in the box um, and really what's sort of how easy it is to set up. Dead straightforward. So I'll sort of now go on to demonstrate that. So firstly, this is the uh, the actual Now TV box, very compact as you can see. On the side it has a HDMI port, so that's really useful. And then on the back, um, you can see an HDMI port, which is sort of uh, right on the back of the, uh, the uh, Now TV box. You've also got an Ethernet LAN, uh, local area network cable input there, and you've also got the uh, the power lead. You also get the remote control with the Now TV pack uh, with two AAA alkaline batteries included. So that's a bit of a look at it there. You've got the home button on the top right, the back button on the left, the up and down left and right arrows in the center of the uh, the control. And then you've got the rewind, the forward, the pause, the play button in the middle. And then just a couple of shortcut buttons, the Now TV and the Sky Store um, shortcut buttons is there, which you can use whilst using the uh, Now TV. So yeah, as you can see here, you get the uh, the HDMI cable included, and there's the power lead, which is going to go into the back of the Roki, and um, you'll also need an uh, Ethernet cable if you're going to do a wide connection. There's obviously the option also of running off Wi-Fi. Uh, we've done both, and they both work equally well. Although I must say, I do find that the uh, Ethernet cable just gives a bit more of a reliable sort of connection to the internet. So once you connect the box, basically you'll see a white light appear with the power lead and all the other leads are in the back. So uh, on the television you can see the introductory sort of page, just basically saying Now TV. And what it will do then, it will then ask you to get started and to include your account details. So one of the first things it asks you is to, uh, to connect either to wireless or a wired connection, so you can do that now. For the purposes of this, we're literally going to connect to the um, Ethernet, the local, if you like, the connection cable to the hub on the back. So if you click wide Ethernet and then connect to wide network, as you can see, it's pretty quick. And there you go. It's done it already. OK. And then you get asked to set up your time, which if you scroll down, you'll be able to find that information. So if you keep scrolling there. This is obviously after you've put the batteries in the remote control. Um, if you click UK there, that's fine. Now, obviously all the terms and conditions there, which I read earlier, so um, just have a read through those, and if you're happy, obviously accept them. Okay, then what you do is you enter your Now TV username, followed by the password. Now, once you've put that password in, obviously enter the information I obviously put the, um, the, the previous screen, the um, user ID, um, press continue, and then put the password in and select to connect. So now what it will do is actually guide you and connect you to Now TV. Um, this is assuming you've already got a package. So what it will do now is it will just guide you through the update of all the apps. So this is based on the fact that we've already got a Now, account, uh, now TV account. Um, and from reading the instructions, I believe you can have up to four devices connected to it at, at um, the account, but only sort of two two devices you can be watching at the same time. So that that's pretty good to be fair. So we're just using an existing account here, and it's updating all the apps basically that are already there. So we'll just let it do that. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. Um, we're using a fiber connection here, which is about 50 megabytes um, per second. So it's going to be pretty quick. So this will obviously also depend on your uh, the speed of your internet. And sorry, I did actually add a few more apps sort of recently. So there's about four more to go. So if we just let it run through that. Okay, so that's it. It says it's all done. So um, all the installation is done using my existing account details. And that's it. Basically what it does is it then brings up the um, 
after you've signed in the information. So you've got a home screen which shows you the highlights, um, different programs, um, which is a combination of um, Sky programs like ABC Studio, Sky Living, um, Nat Geo Wild, BBC One, ITV, etc., Sky Atlantic. Um, and then on the menu, you've got the best to catch up. So again, it'll show you that according to sort of the area. So Now TV, so the Sky Channel's here. Uh, BBC iPlayer, ITV4, uh, all four and five. So that's that's pretty good. It's all integrated. Um, my apps, you can actually choose those here. So uh, that shows your specific apps, which you've actually got installed. There are quite a lot of those on Now TV. Um, if you do want other channels, if you go down to the App Store, that will actually show you as well um, the other apps you can have. So you've got a wide choice of most popular film, TV, news, internet, etc. You can see from the um, the left-hand menu there. And as you can see, I play YouTube. They're all ticked. So the most sort of popular ones which we watch this household are also ticked. So they're installed. Okay. Um, so what um, what you just do is say you wanted to install a new one. You just basically go to the station you want to install if you click OK um, if you add an app and it's as simple as that now you may set up a password as well or a pin number should I say and um, it would ask you to add that before you sort of add the app so we haven't got that at the moment so basically it's included in, sorry downloaded there so just going to OK that um, and as you'll see it does appear on your app store page and that does it in order okay what you can also do is if you press the star button you can actually move it as well so um, press star click OK and then say we wanted if we're going to be using tune in all the time for example we could move it so it's um, towards the top and we can move it back down etc so uh, and then just OK and that leaves it there so that's fine I do apologize about the background noise today sorry about that the multiple cycle passing by um, other things settings we covered the network settings earlier. You can also have a screensaver, the display type. Now we're on 720 um, at the moment. I believe that's the maximum you can have. Um, so that's HD with the HDMI cable. You can choose to alter the captions or the audio there. And there's also system information there you can alter. So um, that really is about it. Okay. Um, just really wanted to show you how easy it was to set up if you've got an existing account um, if you've just bought the box for example from a retailer what you'll see is some information which I'll show you in one moment the one thing I like about the Now TV box is that there's no contract as you can see on the front so uh, everything runs on a monthly pass it's dead easy to set up as I've just demonstrated and there's a lot of information as well so BBC One iPlayer as I showed you earlier ITV Hub Channel 4 5. You've got Sky Sports News. Um, obviously, through the Now TV app, there's sports and moves as well as the entertainment channel, Spotify, Facebook, Sky News, etc. On the actual box set, the box actually comes with the Now TV. It also tells you what's inside. So, the actual Now TV box, the remote control, the batteries for the remote control, HDMI cable, power cable, um, and let's get washing guided through, obviously depending on what you buy we bought one including a three month entertainment pass but there are other ones available um, and it'll give you a bit more information on the back of the box as well um, and one other good thing is with the lack of instructions nowadays sometimes it's useful to have them so um, there is a quick start guide on what you'll need how to get started and also getting online and signing in so that's that's useful as well and as I said if you are actually a new user like we bought this pack with um, entertainment pack you can create your um, you obviously you've got a new account and the details are there so just it's on the back of a card so uh, just reveal that that's it really